guys, Dr. Insanity just uploaded, <clears throat> so let's react to his video, guys. Hold on, hold on. Let's grab my phone. All right, guys, let's get into it. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, Gop realizes there's a body in the house. Okay, okay. Now, I'm not sure if this is the channel that features multiple stories. I think they do. So, it'll be like more than one story. Maybe, maybe not. <clears throat> Might be the guy that doesn't. Either way, he, he does some very good storytelling. As, you know, his sub count will give you the... Um... The, uh... The hint. Without further ado, let's check it out. 2023, police were called to a house in Florida to conduct a standard welfare check on a woman named Laney. The cops that arrived Whoa, that whoa, whoa. To that evening, to that evening, Laney. The cops Looks like she's hard to scar a cop for life. Not always. Police knocked on the I'm door. sure they'll remember something like this. I don't know, guys. We, we gotta see the whole story, man. Hey, Texas. Hey, Did it smell when you went to the door? Goodness. I can't imagine the smell of it, man. Yeah, there's a door on the around the opposite side. Is there somebody? The other side of Reef's bed. Hello? Sheriff's office. And they got a tent. They got a freaking outhouse. Or. It's a cool yard. Uh, it would be such an awesome thing to have property one day. Oh, goodness. The other door? They got like a side house. Somebody could live in that house, bro. Like. That was like a seven. Things are deathly quiet around the compound, but this cop also thinks there's death in the air here, too. Florida cops have their own set of radio codes. One is a drunk driver, 28 is a riot, and seven is a dead person. A seven is a pretty unmistakable smell, so the cops decide to investigate further. Oh, do they even know the scent of dead, dead bodies, guys? I don't know the scent of a dead body. This place is a disaster. Can you smell it? No, I do. I don't know what's coming out of there. How you doing? Hey, doing good. How are you? Oh, hi, brother. Have you seen Lainey recently? The girl? Yeah, next door neighbor. Just the guys over there. When's the last time you've seen them? Yeah. Oh, she's been missing? Um, he usually walks up and down the road, but her, I haven't seen her in a while. How long would a while be? Days, months? Day or two. Nothing days. Have you heard any, any fighting, anything in the last two days? Any it's loud commotion? I know it would be not abnormal for you to hear yelling and screaming coming from over there, so. Yeah. Nothing. Laney's neighbors tell the cops they haven't seen or heard anything from her in a few days. You might think it's a good thing that they haven't heard any yelling or fighting. Bro, that's... <clears throat> cops are asking about the whereabouts, that's already bad. But in this family, that was completely normal. And the lack of shouting coupled with the somewhat ominous presence of her son is extremely concerning for the cops. Just call the number right there. That's the non-emergency number. If you see Lainey or any Yeah, her boys. sister's looking for her and she's not able to get a hold of her, so that's why we're out trying to make contact with her. <laughs> but I can smell that smell. It ain't supposed to be close to I mean, I can make an open door. <laughs> There's a door on each side of the house. Man. What did, why did her boyfriend do this, guys? It's a boyfriend that did it. I don't know. That's my guess. That's my guess. Don't quote me on that, guys.
Nothing. After spending almost half... As they're playing that scary music again. Half an hour searching outside the property, the cops were left with just one option. But before they were about to start breaking in, this happened. Oh, I'm just... Did you hear us knocking before no. where you knocked out? No, I was sleeping in there. He mentioned the ominous presence of the boyfriend before we even see him on camera, guys. I'm glad you woke up because you're about to come inside. We're looking for mom. Do you have you seen her? She's not around right Wait, now. Is that his mom? I mean, his son, sorry. Do you know where she's at? His sister's asking for her. She's not in any trouble or anything like that. When was the last time you saw her? A few days ago. Where'd she go? It doesn't take a genius to realize something's off here. This guy managed to sleep through half an hour of the cops searching his house at 5 p.m. And when they questioned him, he didn't know anything at all. All he did was... Bro, that, that's the prime suspect right there, brothers. It looks like an open and shut case. Sit on the steps, looking exceptionally suspicious. Is it that normal? Like he's mumbling and everything, guys. For mom to be gone for days at a time. Sometimes. Where does she usually go? Does she have a favorite place where she likes to go when she's not home? Not that I know of. Does she tell you anything out of the normal when she last time you saw her? No. Do you know who stays in the tent? Well, I told you could come before she left. As I used to sleep in a tent outside my dad's house as well, man. And it wasn't the f most fun thing, bro. I'd always ask for like uh, him to bring like water and stuff and food. It was all bad. Would it be alright if they just went inside to make sure she's not in there? This is literally filmed in uh, May, guys. Excuse me. Huh? I can't tell you no. Okay. But you stay here and it's your mom's house? Then we're looking for mom. So we just want to make sure mom's not stowed away in a closet or something. Dad didn't come back and retaliate for getting her. They wouldn't have went in a closet, bro. They, they already had their suspicions, guys. Or something like that. You can lead the way if you're so pleased. Oh, I to watch the door. You could go in, but you could go in. Just lead us through it. Yeah. Oh, wow. Do you have a key? No. He locked himself out. Oh my goodness. I think he did it on purpose, guys. I think he did it on purpose. Why would you lock the door behind you? I just usually do that. So how do you get in? Uh, I don't know. How about this other little door that's over here? It's, uh, it's just barricaded up. Barricaded. Oh my goodness. The signs are all there, guys. The signs are all there. With what? Uh, garbage can and some stuff. So, how do you get in the house when I had to lock the door? Because I feel like you're f***ing with me. What the hell? I'm What's the deal? Trying. You understand how, how this looks, right? Yes, sir. Conveniently, the man claims the door locked behind him and he didn't bring a key with him. Usually, he'll just wait for his mom to come back and open it for him. But she's obviously not home right now, or at least that's what the cops think. So, obviously, you went in and unlocked it from the inside. Did you get in? Did you just push that one thing open to get in? Or the other door? Do you mind doing that for us right now? I think if you shimmy it into the right, we could be able to just pull it out. Now they're making him open the door, like the crime scene that he probably did. Did so push it into the right. Keep pushing it in. Now try to move it out, and then push it out. There you go. There we go. The cops know how to break into the door. Never thought uh, he would be given helping him do it, but they're trying to get to the bottom of this, guys. So are you sure mom's not in there? I don't know. 
Just stay in my room, stay in my living room. We're already in, so we're gonna find out. So. Yeah, keep it. They're definitely gonna keep an eye on him, right, guys? You're gonna tell me you didn't know Mom was in there? He's just chilling in there with, with the dead body, guys. While it's stinking out the house, man. What the heck? Inside the house lay the dead body of his mother, Lainey. The cops spend no time putting him in cuffs and radioing in for backup. But this is when things start to get weird. In an impromptu interrogation, the man suddenly becomes more talkative and starts to tell the cops everything he knows. When we first got here and talked to you, you said you hadn't seen mom in how long? A few days. A few days. Is that the actual, actual answer or what's, what is the answer you want to swear to the last time you saw mom? We were talking around the house here. I mean, you know, I seen her riding a bike and uh, she gave me a few cigarettes and stuff and told me to stop back by the house later. She told me to stay inside. And hey, bro, he's, he's got the full story all of a sudden, guys. That was a few days ago. But you said that wasn't the truth, that you weren't supposed to be staying inside. No. Yes, when we talked to you over there, you, okay. I said you're not supposed to be here. That's... So. No contact order. Okay. I believe. Do you know if it's still active or no? No, sir. What is there no contact order between you and mom for? He got into the dispute. Um, she said I slapped her, I punched her. So hey, bro, that's the number one prime suspect then, guys. He did it, probably, most likely. Battery? Yes, sir. Okay, domestic stuff. Yes, sir. How did your conversation with Dad go the last time you saw him? Bad. Bad? It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad? How about between Mom and Dad? Did they talk? Um, the only thing I knew is she told, at that point in time when she got home, she told me and him both to leave, so I left and went walking somewhere and stayed away. Did they already put that crime scene tape over, or did, like, the new cop that came over just do it, guys? Did you notice anything different while you've been staying here? Did that not raise any alarm to you? Did you go and check? I did kind of look in there. I'll see, I guess I should go. Okay. So you saw her in the position that she's currently in now? Yes, sir. So why did you tell us that mom wasn't there? When you went in there and checked on her two days ago, did you know that she was deceased? I couldn't say so. I wouldn't say no. Okay. But it was it apparently yeah. obvious to you that yes, somebody smelling like that wouldn't be yes, somebody sir. who wouldn't? Okay. So why didn't you call law enforcement when you found her in deceased? You don't know? The man is obviously still confused and has likely been in some form of shock for the past couple days. But nevertheless, he still failed to report his mother's death and as such has been charged with failure to report death. As for who killed Lainey though, that's a much tougher question. The current top suspects are of course this man and his father. But as of this video's upload, the investigation is still ongoing. Dang, bro, I did I, I apologize. I thought he would be already convicted, guys. We don't even know how she uh, passed away, guys. Like, was she hurt or something? She was starting to blow with marble skin and Paris skin slippage. Yeah, they did uh, conduct themselves well by remaining calm and not agitating the guy. They also, you know, didn't really, like, you know, try to blame him for it. 
Looks like they knew a lot about the case already. I po like like I said, I apologize. Uh, apologize for blaming him. It just seems suspicious, guys. Let me know if you think he did it in the description, guys. I mean, he's still like uh, one of the biggest suspects. Like he's hiding the body and everything for whatever reason. There's a restraining order against him. Let me know what you think, guys. But yeah, allegedly, guys. Allegedly, he did it. Allegedly, he might have may or may not did it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out the original video in the description. I'll see you guys next one. Peace out, everyone.